Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to the channel um, or if you're not really uh, visiting the channel but just looking at this video, welcome. I haven't done a video in a while and uh, today we're going to be doing another unboxing of something that I ordered on Amazon. So it is the, uh, the Christmas season so everyone's getting gifts and gift cards and that sort of thing and I got a gift card that I was able to purchase this with. I decided to get a bass guitar. And I do not play bass. I have never played bass. I don't even play guitar, but it's something that I want to try to learn. Uh, so I wanted to get something that was kind of like a starter setup. I definitely wanted an amp um, and everything I was going to need right off the bat. So if you look on Amazon and if you're in the market for a bass guitar, you'll probably notice that there's not a lot of options available um, on Amazon specifically for complete packages. Uh, you can find bass guitars on there, but not with an amp and a bag and a strap and all the little things, even those those aren't a big deal to me. Um, but I'll show you the one that I got. It's from Davison Guitars. And before you say anything, I don't even know if that's going to focus. Um, that might not focus. All right. Anyway, from Davison Guitars, it's on Amazon. It's 129.95 with Prime available if you're into that, um, which I do have. It's black. It's got a maple neck, wood body. That's about all I know. It's four string bass. It's supposed to come with an amp, a bag, uh, a strap, picks, basically everything you need to get started. And we're going to go ahead and open it up. Now, I have, have not opened it, obviously, yet. So I guess we could open this and find out that everything inside is completely destroyed. Hopefully not. But I wanted to show you guys from start to finish uh, what you get when you open this. I didn't find a whole lot of information on them online, so I figured I'd take a look. Something just went flying out. Looks like a staple from this filler cardboard board in the box. Got another big piece there. Just staples in them. Uh, I want to be careful about how I pull this out. Looks like the guitar is in a second box and you got to be careful because it looks like the amp is in wow. come on I guess I could open the other side of the box but I am committed now okay there it is okay so the big box is empty there's nothing else in there we have the amp that comes in its own separate little white box. It looks like it took a couple hits on the side. Hopefully it works. The reviews online seem to say that this is a pretty good setup for someone who's trying to learn. I did not want to uh, spend four or five hundred dollars on a decent bass and decent amp for something that I don't know for sure yet if I'm 100% going to love. So even if this thing doesn't last a long time, It'll give me the opportunity to spend some time finding out if I actually like it. So if this is you, if you're in my position right now where you want to learn to play but you haven't played and you're looking for a cheap setup, this might be the way to go. It looked like the best bang for your buck on there. So here is the amp. We'll start with that. It's a small little guy. Um, 30 watt. Got, uh, here's everything on the top of the amp so you can see it. Pretty typical bass, treble, volume, you have to put power, power switch. Um, it's made by Hollinger, model number BA15 if you really need that. It's got the power cord hooked up and I'm actually going to set this down on the ground here because I've got a uh, extension cord set up there so that you guys can hear what this thing sounds like hopefully. Let's go ahead and get into the exciting part. And here's the guitar. Okay, looks like we have a bag right on top there. Very, you know, didn't expect anything fancy, obviously. It feels pretty cheap. In fact, the zipper uh, is separated, it's not even together. It's alright, it still works. Um, so there's the bag. I'm going to set that up to the side. We have the strap. 
looks like the wire for the amp, the guitar, a couple Allen wrenches, and a little baggie of picks. Looks like there's three of them in there, three different colors, probably three different thicknesses. And then we have the strap itself, which is just a cheap looking basic strap. Oh, that's a tiny strap. It's a very tiny, tiny strap. Um, okay. Might work, might not work for me. For a kid, it'll definitely work. There's the wire. I don't know if I really showed you that. Then, uh, looks like all we have left is the guitar. I don't really want to call it a guitar. The bass, sorry. Uh, let's see. To avoid danger of suffocation, keep this plastic bag away from babies and children. Do not use it in cribs and beds. You know, if they have that warning about cribs and beds in there, someone was dumb enough to put this in a kid's crib. Alright. Looks just like it did in the picture. I mean, this, this is how I was expecting it would look. Nothing phenomenal, but I think it's a good looking starter base. And before I even get into that, there's a couple pieces of paper here. Um, looks like a, a little tuning guide from Davison Guitar, who manufactured it. A um, little thank you for your order. I think you get like a free three month uh, training and access to a website. And then uh, support information and customer service information if you have questions or need help or you have problems. I hear that they have really great customer service. So here's the base itself. Uh, it goes almost from corner to corner on my table. I think it's the standard length for a base, which off the top of my head I'm not even sure. Um, yeah, let's get a little close-up of everything here. So we've got going into the neck. Uh, the weight isn't too bad. It feels like it weighs maybe um, God, I don't even know this. It feels like maybe a 10 pound weight. So the weight of the guitar is not too bad. The body's really light. The neck's got some, uh, some weight to it. So yeah, let's do, let's plug it right in and see how it sounds. Now obviously I haven't tuned it and I'm not going to tune it right now because I'm not here to waste everyone's time. Um, but I just want to show you guys plugging it in right away and making sure everything works okay. All right, get this amp plugged in here. Hopefully this isn't ridiculously loud when I turn this on. I don't expect a whole lot out of this amp. The prongs are bent on the plug here, so I gotta correct that. All right, power's on. That's a good sign. Turn the volume up uh, a little bit there. Just a little bit of bass, a little bit of treble, and. Obviously, I don't have a uh, strap on this yet. It's not going to be the most comfortable standing. I'm just going to put a little bit of tension on the strings. tuned a bass. I've never owned a bass. I've never played a bass. Turn the volume up a little bit here.
Okay. So again, just trying to uh, give you guys a feel for... Obviously, this needs to be tweaked quite a bit. Um, but yeah, it plays. I've got some. Everything's powering up, which is definitely a good sign. I'm going to go ahead and kill the power on that for a second. So yeah, it looks like it's a, a pretty decent looking bass for the money. Again, this was $129.95 or $130, bucks, whatever you want to call it. Um, came with everything that you guys just saw me unbox. Everything seems to work. Uh, the bass itself looks like it's decent enough quality for what you pay. Obviously, you get what you pay for. Um, and I, I don't know how it's going to hold up over time yet, but uh, it definitely looks like it's something that's really great for a beginner or someone who's trying to learn or someone who's just looking for a cheap bass for whatever reason. Um, there's, there's really not much to it. So uh, the finish is pretty decent on it. You know, I could see my reflection in it, which is nice. And uh, the neck seems very sturdy. The action, um, I'm actually surprised. I was a little worried that the action was going to be uh, way too high up. And I'm not sure if this thing's just catching light the wrong way. It doesn't look like it's turning out very well, though. Um, the action is very reasonable. There's not too much space there to work with. So I think that'll be comfortable enough. But yeah, um, all right, I think that pretty much wraps up, you know, the unboxing and the initial impressions of this guitar. Hopefully, uh, in the future, once I've played it a bit more um, and actually started to practice with this thing and get it tuned and try to keep it tuned, I can do a little bit of an update on how it's holding up and how it feels. So thanks, guys, for watching. Um, and if you're interested in getting one of these, I uh, so far recommend it. Thanks.